Shalom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Green Pastures. And this segment tagged Wisdom Capsule. Receive wisdom today to excel, wisdom to navigate, wisdom to make the difference in Jesus' name. Today, we'll continue with the study of that book, I wrote many years back, titled Seven Pillars of Wisdom. And we're already in chapter 4, and we want to look at the seven characteristics of divine wisdom as stipulated by James in James chapter 3, verse 17 to be precise. I read, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruit without partiality and without hypocrisy. According to James, the seven pillars of wisdom are, number one, purity. The first thing James mentioned is purity. It is first pure. Not necessarily in the order of time, but in order of importance. In the sense that it is the basal attribute of true wisdom. Jesus Christ could not be the wisdom of God if he had not been the holiness of God. And we can never possess divine wisdom if we are not pure. It must be noted that this purity is not necessarily implying sinlessness. But it speaks of divine and spiritual energy. Think of the purity of nature, how beautiful it appears when it is renewed in its youth, in spring. When the grass grows, the trees bored, and the leaves and the flowers open, we see the working of the divine nature, divine energy, bringing fresh forms of life before us, robed in the purity and the beauty of the sanctuary of the divine life. So in moral and spiritual beings, our purity is a sign of the divine energy which is working in us and working through us, keeping our thoughts holy and our lives conforming to the laws of God. So according to James, the first pillar of wisdom is purity. Number two, peaceable. This speaks of inward peaceable temper, which is also the fruit of a pure heart. And it's never to be found apart from purity. This divine energy removes from man's nature all the elements of the soul that discord and restlessness. There has never been a dissension between two friends. Never a rupture in any church. Never a rebellion in any state. Never a war between two countries. Never a wicked controversy of any kind which did not have its origin in some impurity of the soul. This wisdom thereby fills the soul with order, with harmony, and heavenly peace. These are the first two that James mentioned. Next week, we will look at more. But don't forget, the wisdom that comes from above is firstly pure. And the next thing, it is peaceable. May your life be pure. May your life be peaceable. May you enjoy the peace of God in the name of Jesus. I want to pray, I sense like praying with somebody. May every impurity in your life receive divine fresh, divine power unto newness. And whatever the enemy has troubled in your life, receive peace today and enjoy it from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm.